oh, that's a big old, big old asteroid. It's taking a beating as well. Moving into attack range. This isn't really very exciting to watch, I'll be honest. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Sir, I've got a large fragment 100 kilometers from the planet. Collision is imminent. Might I recommend diverting some power to the impulse engines? It will yes, increase Captain? the ship's speed and moving into a time range. it takes to get from one set of fragments to another. Your orders, he... sir. I have nothing to add, Captain. <laughs> wow, thank you. Sir, the fragments are closing on the planet. We might still have time to catch them. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Okay, where the hell did that torpedo go? <laughs> Just flew off the screen. How many more? Your order, sir. Oh, one more. That was good. Almost there. In this exciting mission of ours. Dear God, that is hideous. Moving into attack range. It's not like got paws instead of hands. Captain. It looks like one of the fragments is heading to the orbital facility. Are there any more? Did it. Oh no. Okay, that's all of them. Reduced to non-lethal sizes. We are being hailed by the Haven colony. Opening. Channel. Yeah, better be. Jesus. The people of Haven owe you and your crew a debt of gratitude, Captain. We owe our lives to your courage and quick thinking. Again, we thank you. You're welcome. You, you feel for your happy. ship into orbit. We can transfer the relief supplies. Your orders, sir. Standing by to establish orbit, Captain. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Okay. That looks a bit dangerous. Okay. Um, Entering standard orbit. Anybody want to go get drinks in the lounge? No? I am sending coordinates okay, we're back for your people to beam down. My subdirectors will advise them when they arrive. Subdirectors. received, Captain. Jesus, Our that's teams will begin beaming down supplies and personnel immediately, lowering shields for transport. Admiral was that Lee that guy? What yeah. happened to the I thought that was wrong. We've been unable to contact Mr. Takahara on the Geki mining colony. I can only hope their outpost survived the effects of the disturbance. Yeah, me too. Sir, all whatever, supplies and equipment have been said. beamed down. Again, thank you, Dauntless. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't arrived when you did. Transport complete. We can get underway, Captain. Incoming message from Starfleet, sir. Captain, one of our ships, the Sovereign, is on its way to our Jesus, space dock she really for like that. She's manned by a skeleton crew and is being escorted by two Klingon birds She really likes that chair, doesn't her she? Her Captain, Jonathan Soto, has reported a breakdown in her warp drive. And she has had to lay over in the Tevron system. Okay. The Klingons are under orders to divert to Birnan Station and will not be able to stay with her. However, they will be able to transport Captain Picard there with them. Sounds like a hoot. Rendezvous with the Sovereign in the Tevron system and join the escort. Once the Sovereign is underway again, you are to continue your mission and deliver the relief supplies to the Geki colony. Liu out. Okay. Oh, okay. We're supposed to be Your ordering. Orders, 
uh, people to do stuff. Course laid in. Teflon, I guess. Aye, aye. Yeah. Orbit. Yay, I got it right. Wow, look at that star box. Oh god, look how pixelated that loading frame is. Or even just the word loading. So pixelated. Approaching the Tevron system, sir. Any sign of the Sovereign Captain. and her escorts, Mr. Diaz? Initiating scan. I have three ships holding in orbit around Your Tevron orders, 2, Captain. Commander. That's the Sovereign, Captain. And two Channel birds open. of prey. Captain Soto, sir. On screen. Oh. Congratulations on your promotion to command, Captain. I'm glad to see you here. Repairs are progressing, but we only have a skeleton crew on board, so it's taking some time. We've had to take the impulse engines offline, so we're immobile until the repairs are complete. This would have been only a ferrying assignment. He's undoubtedly short-handed. Incoming message, sir. Captain Draxon of the Rancor. Kapla, I'm a Klingon. Hail, Captain. What the hell? Your timely arrival frees my ship and the Traor to depart for Piranu Station. However, there is something That's you must Klingon. know before we leave. Like my nerd. tactical officer reported suspicious readings on his scanners on our way here. Suspicious in what way, sir? Or oh, was it bag of triples or something? faint readings, fading in and out. He thinks we may have been followed by at least two... Bomb your lungs! Oh. Your scanners could be out of sync. Not on my ship, Lieutenant. No, I think it's probably Romulans. Let's be honest. I would stay, but our duty demands we reach Biranu Station on our timetable. Be on guard, Captain. There is so much on us. We have company. Two warbirds uncloaking to starboard. Wow. That's pretty cool. So is this when we get our asses handed to us? Hailing us, sir. On screen. Oh God. Greetings, Captain. Step back from the monitor, please. Commanding the warbird Soya. With respect, Captain, do you have some business with us? The Romulan Star Empire is well aware of the incident in the Vesuvi system. That was troubling. Now we have further cause for concern. The Enterprise has been patrolling the Maelstrom for quite some time. Now Starfleet has introduced this second Sovereign-class ship to the Maelstrom. A somewhat disputed area. We must question the reasons for its presence and its relationship to the Vesuvi event. I can assure you neither Starfleet nor the Federation knows any more than you do about the cause of the Vesuvi incident. Two Sovereign-class vessels raise vast suspicions, Commander. Suspicions we are prepared to act on. Now, 